Last session coming up, this is week number six. And again, these are just a guideline that you can work from. The idea is to move the joints in very different ways, try to create a sense of brain fitness with that too, a task to do while they're doing their movement. And mostly people, most of really have a nice, enjoyable time with that. So let's come back to just moving the feet. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, back and forth. And experiment with reaching the legs forward, maybe out, maybe back, toes out, heel taps, whatever feels comfortable for people's bodies, going all different ways, as long as we're moving, breathing, and adding some thinking to it with that. Maybe you're crossing the ankles back and forth. Now let's let the lower body rest. We're going to take your shoulders up, back, and down. Do a little bit of a forward movement. Take those elbows. Breathe in. Breathing out and go the other way. So this reminds me of swimming. So this is called all in the pool. So we're going to dive down. Hands support your back. Come up out of the water and dive down. Nice little back stretch here. Exhale, diving down into the water. Come back up for air and then just shake out. Pretend you're a dog. Got out of the water and you're just shaking. Shaking can release tension. Even shake the head gently or your mouth. Open your jaw. Shaking, everything can release tension. So think about a dog getting out of the water. It's shaking all that fur. Now we're going to do get in the water and we're going to doggy paddle. So dogs like to stick their tongue out. <laughs> so it's okay to be silly. No one's watching you. So just move like a doggy paddle. Arms and hands and fingers and feet and your legs. Even try to wag your tail in the water. Now let's release that. We're going to try the breaststroke. That's great to open up the chest. Inhale that breath into the whole body. So you're breast stroking, warming up. Now try the cross stroke. So there's ways to do that. You might just want to do it with your elbows bent, nice and easy, or you might feel okay with your arms a little longer. Feel free to turn the head, turn the head, turn the head, side to side. And if you're comfortable, try the backstroke. So again, you might just want to have residents bend their elbow rather than having their arm longer. So we all have different shoulder issues. So please feel to make sure you tell them to do something that works for them. Good. Now the side stroke, you can do it this by just reaching out or you can extend the leg a little bit. Get a nice long reach with the body here, extending all those muscles, breathing in. Again, we're doing cross body work here as well. All right, now with this one, you can sit back on the chair more, support your back, and we're gonna flutter kick. Move your hands like you're sculling in the water. And now try the dolphin kick, which is a little bit more work here. Up and down. Now add that little butterfly spine here. Kind of waving up and down. Again, lots of good movements. Lots of good movements to do. And finally, the cannonball or the whatever that used to be called. <laughs> something or other. Can opener. There we go. So just a little tuck of the knees in and then down and release. So take a breath in through your arms coming up overhead. Hands come down together and then you go back up. So full breath. It's always great to include some specific breathing movement. So you inhale through the nose to lift your arms up. You exhale as you come down. Inhale high, exhale down. Now take one hand across and back open. Turning head and shoulders and torso. One more, come across, other way. So back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Take your elbows, 
bend them, bring them in close with your hands. Elbows now have the crayons. And we're gonna make a big circle. Now make a square. Triangle, so elbows have that crayon now. Full body movement, and then down and release. Take a breath in, exhale, take a breath out. One more time, full breath in, exhale down and release. Take your hands together, interlace them, push out and curve, pull in and sit. Push out and curve. So moving the spine again, opening up the back muscles. Inhale deeply, breathe out deeply as you come back. One more time. And now just kind of sweep across. Bend the elbows, little body circle here. Do that again. Inhale up and around and reverse. One more to go. So. Allow these movements to help stimulate and create some ideas that you would like to do with your residents. I'll see you again. Again, Mary Whitten from Linden Ponds in Hingham, Mass. Take care.